Good morning, we're back. The time is 9-11. All this week, we have bringing you stories from Maui, from harrowing escapes, people running barefoot from their burning homes on August 8th as the flames just decimated Lahaina, to people who lost businesses and the firefighters who battled the flames for hours on end. Well, we started this journey to Hawaii with the question, should we return? Should tourists go back? Is it too soon? Is there anything for vacationers to do on Maui if Lahaina no longer exists? You know, Maui has a way of touching people. You know, Maui is, is very special. It's been voted the best island, you know, multiple times. Known for its breathtaking beaches and crystal clear waters, there's a reason millions vacation here every year. We were used to Maui and all the Hawaiian islands being completely bustled with tourism all the time. Minnesota native Stephanie Heglin has moved with her husband and her four young kids to the island five years ago, just before the one-two punch of COVID and then the deadliest U.S. wildfire in the last 100 years. And I think it's hard for some tourism, tourists to understand as well, just the, the magnitude of what has happened here and the, the depth that with people have been affected. But our, do we want tourism back? Of course we do. That's what our economy, you know, that's how our economy runs. We need tourism back, absolutely. In 2019, tourism spending topped $5 billion. An estimated four out of every five dollars comes from tourists. Blasted on the headline, we need tourism. This place doesn't work without tourism. Caleb Hopkins owns a restaurant along Front Street that somehow survived the flames. He knows what a big draw Lahaina was for tourists. But the island is also home to the ritzy resort town of Wailea, the blue waters and white sands of Ka'anapali Beach, and world-renowned golf in Kapalua all of which were untouched and are open and waiting for tourists to return. Maui is a larger island um, than just Lahaina. Riley Kuhn owns Trilogy Excursions. He takes people out to snorkel, whale watch, or just enjoy a sunset. Oh my gosh, look at the harbor. When the fire destroyed the Lahaina Harbor, he was forced to move his boats about 15 miles south to another harbor. Is it appropriate to ask somebody, were you affected by the fires? Or should tourists not ask that question? Is it invasive? You know, um, that's a really great question, and I'm glad people are still asking that question. It's an important one, but to specifically answer it, uh, yeah, I wouldn't go up and ask somebody, were you affected? We are all affected. Supporting a Maui-owned business is helping. You're putting people's kids to school. You're helping them buy their ballet slippers. You're helping them put gas in their car. We love the support. We love people still coming here. You know, we. Maui is still open. Wailea, Kihei is still open. Fire Captain Akaika Blackburn is a Maui native. Lahaina, Ohana, Venmo, and these, these accounts have been vetted. He's set up a firefighter fund to help support the 17 firefighters on the island who lost everything in the fire, but says island-wide help is still needed. If people are looking for a way to support, that is a way to kind of, you can choose a family and directly support them. Or hop on a plane there is still plenty to do on maui like enjoying the sunrise above the clouds of maui's haleakala crater or taking the famed road to hana hiking to a waterfall and swimming in a pool there are plenty of ways you can support those recovering from one of the worst u.s disasters in a century everybody has been wrapping everybody up in love and support and and i think that's how maui continues Everyone we talked to there has a local business. Yeah. And they said, you know, the island is, is, everyone just hears about the fire, but the rest of it is open and we need you to come back more than ever because without going on a boat with Riley, sure. without taking a, a, a dining experience at Mala, these families can't survive. I mean, did you, was there anybody there who, who you talked to who said, no, don't, don't no, come? No. Yeah, that's even the Which people, is a perspective that you know we need to hear. Right. Even the folks working in the retail shops or the wait staff at the restaurants we dined at, they were all affected. One of them was living in a hotel still. Another one was living in a hotel, and both of them were like, we need tours to return. We have so many of our friends who currently aren't working because businesses are still shuttered. Sure. So, yeah, everyone needs them to return for sure. Next, uh, come along because we are going to take you on the Kapalua Coastal Trail. This trail is known for its stunning scenery and its historical significance. More Minnesota Live when we return.